All right, watch out, welcome back. Okay, you know what this is about right now? All this sheet metal I cut last week, uh, now I've got to tack weld it into some sort of order. So there's no need for a yawning intro on this one. Fighter build 12, let's get stuck in.
All right, here we are. About five hours. One trap door. Still. It's better if you see it on the bike. See what it looks like. Right, so it looks like. Right, now this is really, really early days. Um, it's not going to look anything like that when it's done. I just want to kind of make the thing first. This started this morning with nothing. Now I have a thing, and there it is. It's ugly, it's clunky, it doesn't look anything like it should. Let's come back a bit. There you go, mate. But it's got that kind of number board look. I wanted a flat board on the front and this kind of step here, that won't do, I don't like that. Perhaps something decorative in between there, I'm not sure, don't know what yet. But I wanted to get this kind of made. So now I can kind of expose the light for night time. Cover it up the rest of the time. Maybe a little slit in there and a hood that points it that way to give it kind of angle, because the way it's all that, you know, don't know, thinking as I go. Bebo. Now you see it, now you don't. All right, now the, the top bit's still got me done. This kind of little elevated box section around there, but run out of time now. Been five hours at this, just to make that. Um, check on the bench. Now it's not the easiest thing in the world to work with sheet metal. Any of you who've done welding know that I spent a lot of time welding up holes, just plugging holes that I glue in it. This is one millimeter sheet metal. Really, really is. If you look at in the world of say welding you've got to be a welding prodigy to be able to go along there with a TIG welder and get a perfect seam weld honestly you've got to have talent like a I don't know a prodigy guitarist or something and I haven't I'm just a monkey I do it I kind of snot it together and then I grind it over the grinder is my friend um, where are we As you can see what I've done on the back is I've just tacked it without any filler rod just using the metal itself where are we just coming in there and just tack it all the way along, which makes it a strong little hole in there. Um, early days really, never used a TIG welder before, it's a completely different process, you kind of scratch it to start and it gets the, the, the arc gets going, it's like a little flame when you actually look at it, it's like a little flame from a little tiny blowtorch. If you put the rod in and you touch the tungsten on the end, psh, it stops. Or if you touch the job with the tungsten, psh, it stops and sticks, or, or if you leave it on there too long, psh, blows a hole in it. It really, really is. Rub your tummy, pat your head, jance on one foot and whistle Dixie all at the same time. But that externally looks all right. I'm comfortable with that. Um, one end. Happy with what five hours has produced so far. Um, I'm going to put stop on the bottom there. I think what I might do is just weld across the bottom just so that comes to that point and stops. But really, that's all for now. Just want to get that done, I'll do the next bit later. All right, there we go. Um, no means a how-to, by no means a how-to. Uh, all this is really is joining bits of metal together for a purpose. I'm making this thing, just so I can cover up the front end. It's got to be better than just twin headlights everyone else does, just something a bit different. It won't be like that. I kind of wish in some ways that that, I kind of done like that, don't know. May still do that yet. So that's at an angle, might look a bit better if it kind of like that, don't know. I can do all that later on, it's not difficult. I can just tack weld bits on it, make it look right, as long as it doesn't end up too heavy. Now this sheet metal itself, as you can see, it's only a mil thick, one mil thick metal. Extremely hard to weld, even if you're good at it, and I'm not. So ultimately, I'm just doing my best with this. So for those of you making judgments, thinking, you know, that's a bit rubbish. Yeah, it is, I know that. And it's just gonna look okay when it's done. The most important thing is it's strong, the metal's fully penetrated, and it all sticks together okay and stays in one piece. That's the most important thing, and that will be the case. It is, that's strong as you like. Your grinder is your friend. <laughs>
So I'm going to leave it there. I can't do any more today. Five and a half hours at it in the garage so far. Came in at 10 o'clock. It's now up past three. Five and a half hours again. Same as last weekend. Going to get this into some sort of video. Put it on the net. Hopefully for about six, seven o'clock tonight. <laughs> he said, wishful thinking. We don't know. See how it goes. How the computer takes it. Lately the computer's been playing up. We are going to invest shortly in a big proper desktop PC rather than a laptop. We're doing all this on a laptop at the moment. And as the channel moves forward and the videos roll on, we're outgrowing that kind of thing. And that is all the kind of thing we're investing the patrons money in. And without the patrons, without you who are watching, who are patrons, who give what you know you give, we wouldn't be able to do this. The channel wouldn't be where it is. This garage wouldn't look like it does. We wouldn't make the videos that we do. and We wouldn't have the equipment we've got. So we owe everything that we are today at this point to our patrons, 360 odd people who care enough to stick their hand in their pocket and support us. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for that. We truly do. We couldn't do it without you. So extra to that is the wall of friends. The wall of friends has finally turned a corner. We're going to try and go all the way around the garage and cover the entire wall in number plates because they just keep coming. So if you've got a number plate and wherever you are in the world, you're allowed to send it anywhere in the US, anywhere in Europe, we don't mind. We're only getting them mainly from the US at the moment. It'd be great to get them from India, from the subcontinent, from Africa, anywhere you've got a number plate because your number plates will tell where you're from. We know even if they don't exactly, they're not from England. So they'll look great on the wall. So if you're able to, let us know. We'll give you a land address and we'll send it on. But I'll leave you with the wall of friends so far. You can see it's turned a corner and hopefully we'll keep going until we meet the other end and then we'll start on the ceiling. Okay, take easy ride safe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.